Okay. Now, second page would be an About Us page. And what you're going to do is write up an article about you and your business and what you're intending to do with your website. And we're going to change this to About Us. OK. A lot of people ask me about a footer and what goes in a footer. And I'm going to use this page just because I want to show you something. And I'm going to make another text box down here in the footer, just so you can see what I'm talking about. And in here, you might put uh, your business name. And mine happens to be Win Associates and The Winning Way. And I'm in Martinsburg, West Virginia. And this is copyright 2008. Okay. Now I'll click on the center one, and all of that will go into the center. And it looks like I need a space over here. And we're going to make this smaller because Footer information, copyright information doesn't have to be great big. And I'm going to make that like a minus 1. Now, when I go to the INL page, you see my footer changed the same as I did on the other one. On the favorites page, my footer is on every page. On the blog page, my footer is on every page. So anything that you want people to see on every single page that you go to, that's where you're going to put it. Now, I'm going to move this built with net objects into the center of the blog page. And we'll look at favorites. And you see it's not there. We'll look at INL. And you'll see it's not there. And we'll go to about. And it's not there. So where did I put it in the blog page? So I'm going to move that back into the uh, navigation bar, the sidebar. And we'll look again in the About page. And it shows right where I put it on every single page. If you're working with Kiosk and Hot Conference, or with either one, you may want to put a uh, uh, graphic of your uh, kiosk or your hot conference button there. But one of the places that you might want to put it that makes it a very nice, subtle way to um, um, advertise kiosk and hot conference would be to put in powered by. We'll try this again. Go back to desktop. Now, I highlighted kiosk. And I opened the link. It's an external link. And so I'm going to put in my member link here. And it would be www.kiosk.ws slash members slash and my member ID. I think that's right. And then you click on, I want it to open into a new window. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to change this to kiosk. So it's a little easier when I want to use it again. I'll open it to a new page by clicking on existing. And then it's blank. And then click link. And I'm done making a link. You can see that change to a link color. And now if I go back and look at these, I'll look at the blog page. And it changed my footer. I'll look at the favorites page. And it changed my footer. I'll look at the about page. And it's changed my footer. So that's one of the very, very easy things. 
If I want to change something in a footer, I do it once and it does it throughout the whole site. Whether I've got one page or 500 pages, it'll still do that. Um, next thing I'll do is show you how to set up your um, meta tags. You go to Tools and then Options and this site and you'll see the general, it says the site name, the style, the number of pages it's in it. I'm doing browser compatibility, dynamic page lay layout, all browsers. And I'm doing this one in HTML for my text, or you could do it with cascading style sheets. And my meta tags go here. And keywords, one of the things that you're going to be doing in your homework is looking for the t keywords that have to do with the niche you're working in. And this one, say it's going to have, I'll put in kiosk, and I'll put in hosting, and I'll put in web design, and I'll put net objects, and free classes. and Niche Academy, Niche, Niches, and you can have up to 250 uh, characters in there. Always put your name in the author. And these user-defined category name and content are for your description, for what you want to know about the, the website. It gives you a history so you know what your latest changes are going to be at the top, and you can control the number of backup copies of your pages. Okay, click OK. Now, all of that is done. Um, We'll go back to the home page. Well, no, we're at the About Us page. So what you're going to do is write an essay of about 250, 300 words. And I'm going to go, see I made a text box there. I'll go to my documents and see if I've got a, uh, uh, do I have a text document anywhere? I said no. This one might be a little text document. Well, okay, there's one. So I'm going to select all and copy, and I'm just going to paste that essay into the text box I wrote there. Cut and paste from wherever you write your little article from, and then you can start um, formatting it. The top one, me, we may want it bigger, so I'm going to do it a little bit bigger. We may want to bold it. Yeah, what did I do? I made it smaller instead of bigger. Um, if you want uh, bu bullets, you just click on the bullets. It's going to do the whole thing unless we'll undo this. Going to make a hard return on that one instead of those soft returns. And now I can turn that into a bullet. And I'm going to make another hard return here and delete those. You'll notice soft returns will not allow you to have a bullet. Only the hard return will. But you don't have to go through all of it. And then on this one, I'm going to take the bullets away. And that's all there is to formatting your pages. I already saw 